Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. In this video, I want to talk about do-it-yourself neckband speakers. You might have seen neckband speaker made by Sony, Monster, JBL, and Bose. And there are other companies as well. But I want to show you what I did with mine. It cost me less than $30, whereas the brand name are uh, charging around $200 to $400. So let's talk about it right now. All right, so recently I decided to make my own neckband speakers. Now the reason, of course, is that it's definitely achievable and it's probably better quality in terms of sounds and it cost me less than $30. I saw Bose, Sony, Monster, JBL make a neckband uh, speakers and they're pretty good. They're very thin, they fit around the neck. It's not as uh, stress on the neck. However, I decided, well, why don't I build one myself? Because I'm not going to pay $200, $300, maybe up to $400 on those type of speakers where I can make myself a speaker that is less than $30 and most likely a better quality and louder. So you got to watch your ear, of course, because these are definitely a portable speakers. So let me show you two of my inventions. I actually made this a year ago and it's just that I didn't have time to release this invention of mine. So now I'm going to show you what I did. Now I'm not going to show you how it is done, I'll just show you what material I used to make it possible. Alright, so let's talk about the first one. Alright, so the first one is this one here. This is actually a headphone that was broken and you see how big it is, right? Uh, so I decided to use one of the Philips uh, Bluetooth speaker and I, uh, and I basically hot glued it with uh, plastic resin put into this one side of the headphone. And so now it is a almost like a uh, headphone, but you put it on your neck and then the speaker, the Bluetooth speaker, now amplifies the sound. Let me illustrate. So what I'll do is I'll turn it on. Okay, then I'll activate it on my smartphone, the Bluetooth, Let's see if I can sync it. Hold on. There we go. It's syncing now. And Basically what I'll do is I'll just put it on my neck and it's so inconspicuous because nobody would know that this is a speaker. They think it's a headphone, right? So one side is pretty loud speaker, it's a Bluetooth speaker and I'll charge overnight and within two or three hours I'll get a, a Bluetooth speaker that's quite loud over my neck and I'm able to walk around listening to the music. It's quite loud but it's not as loud as this one here. I'll show you this system later on but this one is quite loud. Let me show you right now how I turn on my music. So I sync it with my Spotify or my personal music uh, files and then turn on the Bluetooth. It'll recognize on my smartphone. And let's play one couple of songs here. Let's see. There we go. You can see I can control the volume with my uh, smartphone. It's quite loud. Wow, see so loud that um, you can see it's um, actually uh, overwhelming on my uh, lav mic. Okay, let me turn it down a bit more. Okay. But you can see it's quite loud. So uh, I can actually tune even much, much louder than this. But there we go. So this is my first Bluetooth neck speaker uh, using Philips. So I got this uh, little portable Philips speaker uh, for around like maybe I think it was like around 12 to 20 bucks. I, I can't remember exact price. It was a refurbished one and I decided well I have a broken uh, I have a broken headphone and so I decided to you know, merge the two technologies together basically reuse broken technology merge it with the current technology Bluetooth speaker and what I got is a neck speaker it's quite cool actually because now I'm walking around with this headphone and nobody know that it's actually a uh, Bluetooth speaker. And so I'm turning on my music and walking around and everybody looking at me and say, where's the music coming from? He's just wearing his headphone, right? But no, it's actually a speaker built into it. Okay, so that's one of the inventions I made and uh, I was proud of that one. However, the second one is actually even better because the second one is stereo. So the other one was a mono Bluetooth speaker. This one is actually stereo. As you can see here, 
So this speaker my sister gave to me and cost probably around 20 bucks. And I merge it with a fan, as you can see here, this is a neck fan. So neck fan um, attached to the two speaker. And what I am getting is a very powerful speaker and a fan that cools me down as well. Let me show you this technology. Uh, it's much more louder than the other one. And it's also stereo. This is one of my best one that I made. And I think this uh, is a definitely a awesome invention. Let me show you right now. Hello. There you go. Cool, what, huh? Yes, so this one I really like, and I can turn on my fan as well to cool my neck and my, my uh, head. Let me see if I turn it on here. I think it's on the, I'm trying to. I love this one, this one's stereo, I can, there we go. Oh, and here's the cool fan blowing into my whole body and my face with beautiful sound. Like you wanna walk around, this is cool. So basically merging the fan technology, head, the fan technology, let me just turn this down. Basically taking this uh, fan technology and the stereo speaker together, I got a pretty cool devices that you can do it yourself as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.